Hey, what's up? I'm Guy. I'm John. This is our YouTube channel. Subscribe to this channel. Give this video a like. Podcast also in the description. Go subscribe. All right, you mentioned it earlier in our conversation about Urban Meyer. Trent Bulky, the pride of Bemidji State, resurfacing. Uh, I do think the way it ended in San Francisco covers up uh, how well it was going in the early to middle part of the Bulky era. I, what do you think? Bulky with Urban, would that work? I think, uh, guy, that, that's a good idea. <laughs> I forgot uh, about Bulky, uh, boys. I forgot about Bucky boys. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Trevor Lawrence is a big time prospect and Urban Meyer, just a great, great individual college coach. Remember the, the 49ers, Ray McDonald was a Florida guy when bulky was like kind of their assistant GM. I think they drafted him before he even became the GM. So I'm sure he, he's known Urban Meyer for a long time. He was scouting probably when Urban was at Utah. Uh, listen, Urban Meyer is going to need someone with NFL experience to be his general manager. And I know, like you said, the Harbaugh divorce was ugly, really ugly. Like it was bad. The problem is, or I mean, but the reality of the situation was that a big reason, remember that Jim Harbaugh came to the NFL was like, he had this relationship with Trent Balk. Remember they like jogged. It worked yes, it did for, work. for three years. It wasn't a success. It was taking the league by storm. Their team was kicking everyone's ass. Those two were friends. Balky and Harbaugh had the jaw lines. It was like, God, these two, yeah. Then the Niners, hard, Balky, executive of the year, getting paid huge money, drafting pro bowlers, drafting Alden Smith, and everyone's like, God, who's this Alden Smith guy? Two years later, he's got like 19 sacks. Like, Balky's a genius. And then he went from being crazy guy that drew, you know, drove Harbaugh out of here and hired Tom Sula, which was a bad blemish on his resume. But he he does fit a lot of check marks that, you know, Urban Meyer needs, right? NFL experience, knows the league, knows how to scout, has had success as the boss, right? It's not like, well, can this guy be a GM? No, he's done it for a long period of time. I would also and guess they have a the similar Bowl taste team. in players. Yeah, tough, physical, big. That was always like when he hired Chip. We're like, this doesn't make any sense. Willing to take some risks. Willing to take some risks, both of them probably. Actually, that I didn't even think about that. That's a good fit. Because really, say what you want about Harbaugh and Balky, they looked at football the same way, right? Wanted to run, wanted big physical teams, wanted defensive teams. When you do think of Urban's teams, he wanted to kick the shit out of you physically. Like he, That's where him and Saban, I know their when personalities When you watch him play Michigan, different. you wouldn't know they think the same way about football. Who? Ohio oh, yeah. State <laughs> played no, Michigan. Wouldn't. I, no, I meant Jim. I meant, excuse me, Nick Saban and Urban Meyer. No, no, I know. Urban, but we just play. talked about. Yeah, anyway, keep going. So I've interrupted you for. Okay no, I, I see what you're saying. I, I see what you're saying about Harbaugh. Yeah, but bring just, up, bring up Saban. Well, guy, maybe Jim Harbaugh misses a guy that can pick some players, right? You know, yeah, yeah, actually, especially a quarterback. <laughs> I wonder. I would imagine. I don't. I'm just looking at. Bulky's bio and Bulky, by the way, has been with the Jaguar. He was with the Jaguars last year. Bulky is technically their interim GM, so it's not like he'd be coming from nowhere. Um, maybe Bulky was part of why. Maybe Bulky was part of the connecting with Urban. We'll find out. I'm sure when he has his press conference. So I don't know. Maybe and this we don't happened know for after. sure that, Ur- that Bulky's going to get this. No, job. we don't. Maybe uh, it's might have happened. But there, after there the have draft. been rumblings about it, and I do think it. You start putting the piece together, it makes a little sense. Yeah, who tweeted it on? Somebody tweeted on Wednesday. I saw you. Well, PF, it. PFT tweeted some connections there, and that it it was trending that way. Now, I've had an executive in the NFL told me that he would be surprised, but so I I, I don't I, I I would I think a lot of people will talk shit if it is announced. Trent Balky, but I I actually will go. I I get it. You know. And I, I think it could be successful. Yes. The Haberman and Middlecoff won't talk shit about it. Um, I, now, what I was going to say is I know normally if you look at a guy's resume, like Bulky came to the Niners in 05, that probably means after the 2005 draft, right? Um, but maybe not. He was the college scout. He was in Washington up to 04. My, what I'm getting at is Alex was drafted in 05 from Utah. Urban had coached Alex Smith. I wonder if they talked about Alex Smith back and honestly, if he was in Washington, they might have talked about Alex Smith. There's a chance they've known each other for a long period of time. Yeah. What was his What was his job? Do you have in in Washington? 
So he, I'll, I'll give you, he was, the, he was a personnel scout for the Jets from 98 to 2000. National scout, 01 to 03 for Washington. College scouting director, 04. So There's he, no chance that he didn't go into Utah then, right? Right. As Yeah. I mean, Alex was one of the top prospects. I mean, he went number one, but just he was one of the top prospects that year in the draft. Yeah, for sure. And then 05, he's the West region scout. So if he got that job before the draft, he would have talked to Urban, but he probably didn't. So we talked to him as a member of the Washington. When did Urban go to Florida? 05? Uh, I'm, uh, in my, yeah, I think it was because Alex. Yeah, because he won the national championship in 06. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then you're right. From a, from a player standpoint, um, well, Urban needs a guy i'd argue he needs a former gm because he's going to need some help right he is used to recruiting which is just dramatically different than the draft process like they don't parallel each other at all at all one you choose them the other they choose you the other you there's agents involved I mean, it's just completely different right you you i would say for as much emphasis is going to be put on as coaches i think we've seen pretty consistently now guys make the kind of transition back and forth. I, coaches can coach. <laughs> it sounds kind of stupid, but if you're good, like Tony Elliott, who's at Clemson, the offensive coordinator, he'll eventually come to the pros and he'll probably be good. Joe Brady could do both, right? Most guys, if Kyle Shanahan or Sean McVay coach Texas tomorrow, like they'd be good. Like coaches, good coaches can coach fucking anything. Oh, high school, right? It, so to me though, if he just brought all of his college buddies, he's proven he can be on the right guys. Right. His guys are good when they coach for him. And a big reason is that for him, you know, is because of him. I do think he's going to be really dependent. And maybe I'm biased because, you know, I'm the scouting community. I, I, I do think he's going to be pretty dependent on that individual helping him out. Yeah. And just, you know, kind of teaching him, I don't know, some of the tricks of the trade that he's just not going to know. And I wonder, based on just the, the his his medical history. If he'll, he, he might be very open to the, We've talked about this with Robert Sala, right? Robert Sala, if he had his choice of any job, should be open to the possibility of not having, quote unquote, total personnel control if his GM is good, like Joe Douglas in the, in, with the Jets, right? Urban should be open to the possibility that someone else can do a lot of the heavy lifting. It's part of why I think he's not in college because he doesn't have to be the point man on everything. Um, by the way, Carlos Hyde out of Ohio State in 14. Bulky was the G. That was, that was a bulky pick with. Urban Meyer is the uh, head coach at Ohio State. Good call. Second I mean, round. And on and on and on. Like, all the players. It's not just about the players they did draft, right? Think about all the guys you talked to who you never – your team never drafted them, John. Yeah. You know, it, your, it, your Sendejos. When, 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 when you first see the names together, it's like, whoa. And then you start thinking about it. You're like, well, this guy was a GM in the league for a long period of time. He was a college scouting director. There was just no doubt in – like once you just kind of start breaking it down that they don't have a, at minimum, uh, they've talked several times, let alone once you start talking several times, what eventually happens? You just develop a relationship. Think how many GMs and coaches that will never work together probably casually consider themselves friends. Right. Like, yeah, I can call, uh, like if you're just John Schneider, there's a decent chance that he considers 25 Power 5 college coaches, you know, friendly acquaintances, sure. right? Sure. That you just develop relationships with. And then you just, you end up like, yeah, I got a 10 year old son. Oh, me too. You just, they're kind of similar ages. You just start developing. If you're in your 40s, another guy's in their 40s, another guy's in his 50s, you're in your 50s. What do you most talk the most about? I don't know, football. <laughs> like, it's just, it's pretty easy to see like how you'd have a lot in common, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talking shit about the media coming after you. It's never good enough. Your fans. Like, it just, you do actually do, it would be one of the, you know, unique. There's a, there's a small group of people that can actually relate to some of the things that you're going through, sure. and they'd be one of them. For sure. Each one complaining there's a, about. There's a, there's a chance they're really good friends. Yeah, I mean, there's a chance that that bulky had something to do with the Jags being aggressive on Urban. Not that you would need somebody to push you there, but people forget it did. The reports were that he had a big reason why Harbaugh and we already mentioned this, but like, remember he was one of the driving forces why Jim felt good. Cause remember Jim was like turning down Miami, not the U, but the dolphins. Mm -hmm. So it just don't sleep on bulky. You know, you think oh, just a football guy watching tape. He's a pretty good politician guy.